what's up? It's Firehorn DDB, and today I am playing a game called Dominations. I have been playing this game in my spare time. Um, it's not really, not a lot of people really play it, and which I don't think is right because it's a really well thought out designed game. Um, and I'll just give you pretty much a snap of what's going on. Uh, so basically, um, there are different ages, so you go from, like, the, I can't remember what the first age is, it's like, the stone age to the space age, so basically you have to transfer through the ages, upgrade your troops, or generals in the blacksmith, and, yeah, so that's basically what you do, and I have made myself all the way up till the medieval age, and as I just showed you, I have researched all the guys for this age, which is very interesting, um, so yeah, um, I've just been playing this game, uh, a little bit, um, not too much, um, I just wait a lot for, like, stuff like this, because if you see like that, look at this, it'll take, it costs that much, and it'll take, like, 12 hours, which, I think they need to fix that, because that takes too long. Just for our barbarics, that's only level 5. Way too long. I get. I think they need to dumb that down a little bit. Just like they need to dumb down the um, speed for... Because well, Town Hall level 7... Like, for a Town Hall level 7, you would need, a, like, I don't know, it's like a day or two. In this game, it takes 5 days to get to the Gunpowder Age, which is 7. Right? So, I basically think, that, that is crap, they need to fix it, like, right away, I don't think it's such a good thing, like, because it takes forever, um, and stuff, um, but yeah, um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much that, uh, they go, you get a dock now, it's, like, in the new update, um, mercenary camp, which is quite interesting, you get a higher mercenaries and like the best that you can get um in the future is like a j is like this guy which is level nine mercenary camp which i kind of need um so yeah i'm probably going to try to upgrade that at some point but it costs a lot of food so i do not know um so in this game instead of elixir um there's still gold but instead of elixir they use food which I think is really interesting because they're still using stuff from the past. And as you and as you can see um, up here, that um, I chose the British nation. So you get to pick a nation when you hit the when you're upgrading going to upgrade to the Iron Age. So basically, I picked the British nation. Now there are a lot of different nations. There is the British, the French, um, and the German. Those are the three that come out of Europe. Uh, then there's the Greeks and the Romans, and then the Koreans, Japanese, and yeah, so I can actually show you that, oh no, not Alliance, I'm, I'm not a part of Alliance right now. Um, but yeah, the revolution, yeah, you can see, so there's Chinese, British, which I am a part of, um, the French, the Germans, the Greeks, the Japanese, the Koreans, and the Romans. Um, so, see, they have their, each, they have buffs of their own. So, the Chinese, they get an extra station, mercenaries, and defenders. Uh, and they have, and each nation has a un unique unit, which is the Chuko Nu. Um, so basically, it's an archer unit that can, that uh, fires twice as fast. Additional citizen and mercenary camp capacity, plus one, which is actually really good. It grants bonus defenders to the town per age. Which is also very interesting for, like, your garrisons and stuff. So, the British, which I have... Um, and they're a Euro European nation. Um, they get more loot, um, which is it. They have a unique unit, which is the Longbowman. It has plus one range and 15% more damage, uh, and increases the loot stolen during attacks, plus 15%. And it's not much, but I figured I was already on my other count. I played as the Romans, and I still am playing as the Romans. I'm in the classical age with them, but, uh... I, I'm better on in this age right now, um, that long woman that you actually see there is a, 
is the classical age one. It's the elite longbowman. I have the king's longbowman. Much better, much better. Um, and the oh, and another thing about the um the archer nations is that um, basically if you're upgrading to the gunpowder age, they will let the archers have a gun, but they won't let like the other units really have a gun. Well, they they do kind of. I'll, sh I'll just show you really quickly. So as you can see, the my pikemen, if I upgrade them to a halberdier, they won't get a gun. So that's the thing with them. And same with the lancer or the knight or a knight, which I have right now. Um, but the uh, this guy, um, from King Longman to the Longbowman to them in the Gunpowder Age, I get them a gun. Same with the Dragoon Raider. And also, it's kind of the same thing with the Wall Sniper and the Mortar and the Bombard, which I can upgrade from stuff. So, yeah. Uh, and then the French. So basically, uh, the the anything with a anything with like that will get a tank. But I think the French and uh, the Greeks and stuff they get um, they get the tanks earlier on because that's their special unit. So, as I said, that they all have their special units. So, these guys have training and friendship. So, the unique unit is the Chevalier. 20% more health and 50% more damage. Reduces the time it takes to train an army. And increases the maximum al allied army size additional plus 3 gunpowder age. Um, so, for the Germans, improved rally and attacking. Unique, uh, unique unit is the Vandal. Deals 20% more damage. Duration is double, reduces the cooldown on rally. The Teutonic Fury bonuses troops after uh, a multiplayer victory. So it's they were really good. I was I was kind of thinking about choosing them, but I didn't. Uh, the Greeks have better architecture. So basically, unique unit is companion, which is I think that's how you say it. Uh, it's a, another um, horse unit, which is 10% more health and 25% more damage. Refund part of the cost. Uh, five percent instantly finish upgrade for uh, upgrades and generals recovery under fifteen minutes for free. Uh, so plus five minutes per age, which I that's actually really good. Japanese have mighty defenses, which I thought was really good. Unique unit is the bushi, or as some of you might know as the samurai. Um, th so the uh, town center shoots at invaders. It's always active. Uh, increases the length of peace treaties tw plus twenty five percent. It's really good. Um, so the Koreans. Exceptional tradition refunds after being attacked. Refunds loot after being attacked plus ten percent. Oh yeah, they have an elite, uh, unique unit. The harang deals forty percent more damage. Um, increases maximum war tactics capacity and stuff plus one. So the Romans. Now, if you didn't know that the Romans had the biggest empire in like, in a lot of places. So you know that's pretty much it about them. So they have larger armies. And their unique unit is the Legion. It has 25% more health, so it increases the maximum army size plus 10%. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and I'm going to show you guys um, some raids I've been doing lately um, with what I have. My, I haven't been attacked in like five days right now, so that's pretty good. Um, I could, I could, I'm going to show you guys these two, my most recents. So I'm going to show you my Emperor one, the one that I just attacked, well, attacked a little bit ago. Which is not bad. So, I think this is a bit of a different... Yeah, this is... I think this is the one. No, this isn't the one. I was planning on actually... Yeah, see, I tried to get all four of these buildings out. Unfortunately, I only got the temple and the... And the mortar, but... The catapult, sorry. And the catapults are actually really good. So, what I decided to do, since I took those out... I did... Play, I got all my King's Longbowmen out. And started firing them. Um... And then I got my pikemen, uh, who are going in right over here. I got my ballista and my wagon, which are, they're really good. I got my one raider over here, and he is brave. He is the only one, and he is right now fighting. Um, so yeah, my pikemen are taking on another sort of pikeman dude. I don't know what it is. So this is the Japanese classical agent. Yeah, see, you can see the town center is shooting arrows at them. Now, I don't know what part, um, that this raider dies or something, but it's probably gonna die soon. So, my king's longbowmen are spreading out, which I did not like one bit. I thought that was a bad thing, but since they had the, we had the mortar down, I really did not care at the time. I was so happy that we took out the mortar and we're taking out the rest of the defenses. So, I thought that was great. 
Um, so here we are, and it's almost the end of the battle. We got 75% damage, which is great. Um, so yeah, we're just taking out more of these. Um, yeah, he got a ballista tower, we took that out. Um, yeah, and we took this out. Oh yeah, and there's this thing called Wonders, so they'll, um, help your, your, like, uh, city and stuff. It's basically like your, like your stuff, basically, yeah. So that's what helped, and I took all of his stuff. I only lost a couple guys. Wasn't that disappointed? I really didn't care. There was, there's this actually one replay I wanted to show you, and it was actually really good. Um, it was a really good attack. Uh, I think we got, like, a couple more minutes for able to do stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to attack this episode, but I might next episode. So, um, I don't know. I don't know which one it was, because I don't know if I got the five-star victory on or not. Maybe it's this guy. If not, we can just watch a different one. Whatever, I will find it for next episode. Not that big of a deal. Um, I hope it is this guy, though. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, okay. Whatever. Uh, I actually, we're not going to watch this, then. I'm sorry, guys. You might want to watch that. And you saw me taking down the two catapults with my arrows. I did take them down. Don't worry about it. I did win that battle for sure. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's that, um, so, sorry, I got, um, uh, I got a buddy of mine next to me watching me record this video, so, and he's nervous, so, you know, please forgive him, uh, I believe it was this guy, um, because I used all my mercenaries and stuff, um, which I probably should have remembered, um, is this the replay? Uh, close enough. So, um, I decided to go from over here. I was going to attack from this end. Um, and the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because this was actually a really good replay. Um, so I d decided to deploy all my troops, my longbowmen over here. I did not deploy anything else yet. Um, so I didn't deal with those guys yet because I really didn't think it was necessary at the time because I put my troops all the way over here and I just wanted to save. So I put this guy over here just to get some of the food because if you see there's none in the storages so i decided to attack the farms they obviously have more of the food then so where am i deploying troops i can't i can't find them uh no that was just the garrisons okay whatever so i only deployed my long woman so far um i'm just gonna make this go faster um so yeah my long women are still here and stuff i deployed my pikemen over here later on in the battle which was really good um, I got really fed up with that catapult because it started to take a toll on my pikemen, which I did not appreciate. I put my general and a bunch of mercenaries down. Sorry if I'm speaking too fast, but, yeah, we took out them eventually. Um, but yeah, we didn't take out that ballista tower. I still got my longwoman and my wagon that's healing them, so I thought, to be honest, I had this in the bag, but I had no time left. It was a good attack. It was solid. I did appreciate that attack greatly. But it just, it wasn't gonna cut it, unfortunately. So, you know. It kinda sucked, but, oh well. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna do for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and bye bye